Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. The tires that go on the rims for this bandsaw, these are what actually drives the wood cutting blade. They had, had torn, come apart. And I glued them back together again and made them work. And glued them to the existing rim and made that work. Lasted about two years. Me thinking all the time that I was going to buy a new set of tires. Well, push came to shove and I never did. So, they eventually came apart again. So then I was forced to buy another set of tires. And for about 20 bucks, I got another set of tires. Now I have to put them on. This has been on the, the to-do list now for a good three months. So let's get to it. Okay, first thing I got to do is take this stuff off. And then pull the covers off the wheels. The bandsaw is unplugged. It's sitting in the middle of the room, hasn't been run well since the, the tires broke. I had spent a great deal of time fixing the guides and fixing the top axle on the bandsaw. So it's set probably three or four years before I did that. When I got that done, I had to fix the tires. And now, after using it just a few times, I have to replace the tires ent entirely. No pun intended. The upper tire still appears to be on. But we're going to remove that one and replace them both. Have to loosen the wheel, take the tension off the blade. That should be enough. When I moved, I realized that I wasn't going to be able to have the bandsaw sitting in the middle of the workshop anymore, like I did at the old shop. So I put it on wheels, which makes it a little easier to spin around and kind of manhandle. Take off that plate. And I should be able to lift the blade off. There we go. Take off the blade guard. Okay. I can spin this around. And pull out this little plug. I uh, bet it's metric. There we go. I got it out without breaking anything. I am impressed. Having plastic pieces 
is not conducive to longevity. Okay, now this tire needs to come off. The top tire has no brakes in it. Didn't remember from when I changed it last time, you know, when I repaired it. But the top tire has no brakes in it, so it's it's still a good tire. I'm gonna hang on to this one just in case. You never know when you might have a problem. Having an extra is always a good thing. Okay, now I think I'm gonna have to warm these up. Can't do it in the microwave. Got to run them under warm water. But before I do that, I'm going to try stretching them over. Just to see. Nope, it's just a little bit too small. So I'm going to go ahead and warm this up in some hot water. See if I can't get her to go on there. I'm going to try and protect the bandsaw table as much as I can from the ravages of hot water. By covering it up. Okay, off for some hot water. Okay, I got steaming hot water. I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes just to get it up to temperature. See if they get a little softer and a little easier to stretch. Yeah, it's plenty warm. All I got nothing to do, I'm gonna go ahead and clean some of this sawdust out of the wheel. I fix this wheel up, then I use the bandsaw to cut the walnut strips for making muddlers. That was an interesting project. I had never made a muddler before, had no idea what a muddler was. And one of Ryan's friends at work asked if, uh, since his dad was good at working with wood, could he turn a muddler for him? And Ryan said, sure he can, because Ryan always believes in me. Well, I looked him up and I said, okay. And he gave me an example of a muddler, which was different than the ones I saw on the, on the internet. But I made one to match what he had. And I made one to match one that I saw on the internet. And he said, oh no, I want to have the one that matches the one that I gave you because that was my dad's. And I want to have one for all the... Uh, groomsmen in my wedding. Well, he had an awful lot of groomsmen or else he had a lot of people he wanted to give them to. Because I made, I forget exact number, but it's close to 25, 30 of them. And I gave away some of the samples that I was, used, that I was making uh, to other people. Ryan got one and a couple of Lydia's friends got one, and Lydia got one. So, mothers were quite a thing there for about a month. Just before Christmas. So, let's see if we can get this tire on there. I'm going to set this down. Take one tire out. And see if I can do this fairly quickly. Of course, they get tied up together in there.
I don't want that to cool off. Almost got it. No, nope, I think it's cooled off too much now. Got to be quick. Oh, we'll swap it for the other one. Ain't easy, guys. I bet there's a better way to do this. Son of a gun. Phew. That is some kind of work there, guys. I bet if I put a clamp up there, that'll make that stay. Okay, got the water near boiling. Let's see if I can do this without scalding myself. I'm going to put this on here, and I'm going to throw a clamp on it. That should hold it, keep it from slipping off. Get this down out of the way. I'm trying to work quick so that I don't let it cool off too much. There we go. All right. Clamp worked good. Made a big difference. Okay. Now while it's still hot, I'm gonna put The tire on the lower one. Clamp that down so I can hold it. And Stretch this, stretch, 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 stretch. There. Yeah, that worked. Take the clamp off. Oh, 
Okay. Put the blade back on. Slide it through the slot. Spin it around, make sure I got teeth pointing in the right direction. And put it over the top wheel. Guide it to the play guide. Now well, let's fire it up and see what happens. Okay. Let's throw the shields up on it. For those of you who don't know this, this was a cheap Chinesium saw that I picked up about 16 years ago in a little town called Burlington, which was just east of Union City where I lived. 
they had a fire, they had a sale at the firehouse, and I saw on a flyer that they had a bandsaw. So I thought, well, I'd really like a bandsaw, but I couldn't afford a Delta. So I went and looked at it, and I thought, it's a good source for castings. I probably can make it work. So I bought it. I have worked on this thing multiple times, but I always get it running, and it always cuts. Well, we're rubbing on everything. Looks like we're too close over here. Okay, now we got her working. Tough fight, Ma, but we won. Let's make sure it cuts. Take this old scrap piece of pallet. I'd say that's a winner. Okay, got our bandsaw back. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Another job done. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.